the spur of the moment decision to make this video because I'm in the middle of something else, but I broke a string. So I figured while I was changing it, I'll tell a little story. My former band ton back in 1999, we did a bunch of weekend warrior type stuff that year. Uh, I can't remember everything we did. I know we went to Texas, St. Louis, I think New York, um, maybe Alabama. I can't remember. But anyway, um, yeah, we were doing quite a bit of stuff. Like I said in other videos, we never actually toured, but we, we did a lot of the weekend warrior stuff. It was kind of fun. It kind of worked for us because we all had jobs and um, touring just didn't seem like the best option back then. But anyway, we got asked to play Texas Grind Fest, which I believe was in Arlington, Texas. So we rented a car and drove down. I remember we rented like a, like a Dodge Stratus or something like that. Um, you know, not a super small car, but when you're going 20 hours and we didn't have to take any speaker cabs, but we had to take our amps, guitars, obviously, and I think we had a cooler in the car, so <laughs> it was uh, it was a long drive. There wasn't much space. I remember thinking, ah, oh, the back seat would probably be the most comfortable, but that was actually the least comfortable because my guitar case was actually in the back seat because it wouldn't fit in the trunk because if you know anything about Jackson V's, whether it's a Rhodes or a King V, those guitar cases that come with those, not the form-fitting cases, are enormous. And so, yeah, my guitar was in the back seat, along with the cooler, and we drove 20 hours pretty much straight through. I mean, obviously, we stopped for gas, go to the bathroom, snacks, whatever, but we did not spend the night anywhere. We drove 20 hours, got down there. Our bass player Jeff's brother lived there and in, uh, in Denton, I think it was, which was pretty close to Arlington. And we stopped there, got there in the afternoon, stopped. He let us uh, kind of hang out for a few, so we took a little nap then and went over to the venue. And uh, man, I wish I could remember the name of the venue. But I remember there was just a sick lineup of bands. And, you know, as I get a little older, my memory of things gets a little distorted. I remember seeing a flyer a while back for the, uh, for the show. And the way they had it listed, it, like the bands were on different days. And I was, then I, what I remember, I'm like, did it get changed or do I just not remember it right? But I'm pretty sure we were, well, I know we were only there for one day. Um, so we drove 20 hours, got to Jeff's brother's house, took a nap, woke up, drove over to the venue, played the show, and we left the next morning and drove another 20 hours home. It, it was miserable. But, but we had a good time at the show. And I remember Skinless played. I remember Disgorge playing, Cephalic Carnage. I don't remember seeing Flesh Grind play. If they did, it might have been, they might have played a different day. I remember Rich Lipscomb from Flesh Grind was there. We were on his label, United Guttural, at the time. So it was cool to see him. I remember I used to be pen pals, kind of, back in the trading days with Matty Way from Disgorge. I got to meet him in person for the first time down there, which was cool. Everybody was super cool. We had a good time. I found out many years later that Charlie from Perceptions of Torment had video of that show and he actually posted it up on Facebook, or I mean uh, on YouTube. And um, I think he even sent it to me because somehow I got it downloaded. And I think I, I uh, posted it on my channel. And uh, I'll put a link down below for the, uh, for the live footage of us playing there. It was pretty cool um, after all those years, you know, not even knowing that that video existed and then finding out about it uh, and seeing it. It was just 
yeah, it was cool. But uh, the one thing that stands out the most from that show was we played in about the middle of the, the, the show and they had what they called a gross out contest that day. So they take volunteers for this gross out contest. And at the time I didn't, you know, I didn't know what to expect, but you know, these dudes get up on stage and so, you know, somebody has a pig's head. These guys are passing this pig's head around, trying to bite chunks out of it. I mean, it was disgusting. Then I remember they just had meat in packages, like from the grocery store. And these dudes were just biting into this shit and tearing it apart. And everybody's handling the microphones and they have trash cans on stage. I, I can't, I'm sure somebody threw up. It was, you know, they had them up there in case somebody threw up. It was, it was gross. And, and I'm thinking, well, God damn, this is going on like right before we play. So everybody's just getting grossed out. Not to mention they are, they have just meat on their hands and they're just in the juices and they're just grabbing the microphones and talking. And I'm like, fuck man, we have to get up there next and use these microphones. And it was just disgusting. Like, I, you know, that's not something that, uh, I don't know. It's just something that grosses me out. But anyway, when it was over, you know, we carry our shit up there and it's just kind of like, kind of put a weird vibe. I don't know. Maybe it was just me. I don't know. It was just like, man, that, what the fuck was that? You know? And uh, so we get up there and I remember a drummer saying something to the sound guy, like, you know, what about these microphones? They're just going to be meat and juice all over them. And he was basically just like, yep. And I'm like, oh, great. Because we were a three-piece, but all three of us did vocals, so you know we're next up to use these microphones. And anyway, we played the show, and it was a lot of fun. And um, I remember when Skinless played. I remember Noah borrowed my amp, and because he borrowed my amp, he offered to give me a shirt, so I got a cool Skinless shirt. And I remember um, the singer. Um, oh, what's what's his name? Uh, it's escaping me at the moment. Sherwood. He had a gas mask that had, if I remember this right, had a microphone in the front of it. And before they started playing, he was just, had this thing on and was just like, and it just sounded, yeah, I might, I may or may not have smoked some weed outside. So I may or may not have been a little bit stoned at that time. And I just remember it being like, just big. And <laughs> we were just kind of tripping out watching this happen. And I remember they kicked ass, and I remember Cephalic Carnage just killing it. Um, Disgorge, got to see Disgorge, which was really, really cool. And I wish I could remember more about who played that day. It's just, it's been so many years. Um, but like I said, we, we drove all the way down there, basically spent the night and turned around and drove all the way back to Ohio. So, um, you know, at the time it was pretty torturous because uh, it's, it's just a lot of driving in a, in a car where you're kind of packed in there and, you know, it was pretty miserable. But, you know, when you look back at stuff like that, a lot of times you kind of, you don't really dwell on that stuff. You know, you just remember that, holy shit, man, we drove all that way, played that show, turned around, drove back. It was like, you know, it was just another notch on our belt because we were just into doing that sort of thing. I mean, not necessarily driving that far, but you know, if somebody asked us to play a show somewhere in another state, we tried to do it. I'm not saying we did everything, but usually we were like, yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's try to do this, try to make it happen. And most of the time we did. I don't have a recollection of saying no to many things. I mean, I'm sure there were things we did say no to or couldn't do, but but we were we were just we were just up for it. But 
Yeah, I guess I didn't get much done with my strings, but uh, that was just a story I wanted to tell. And I'm gonna get this thing strung up. I'm working on a, uh, uh, working on a little project for YouTube. A little playthrough thing I'm gonna do, so yeah, till next time.